Hi guys, I made this rubber band powered car for Bailey Games 24-7 and I've just noticed I've got a query on one of my mousetrap cars from Samuel Matzer. So I'm going to see if I can just swap this out for a mousetrap. Actually, it goes that way. Um, this is a mouse trap I've used on a different car in the past. In fact, it was on a boat just now, and I've just ripped it off the boat. It's already got an arm extending the uh, lever. It's held in place with some little cable ties and some hot glue. So it's much too long at the moment. Uh, I'll need to shorten it a bit. But I'll just glue it on there. I'll put a little peg on here, uh, shorter than that. I'll just glue it on there to make it easier to put the loop on. And then we'll see how this works as a mousetrap powered car. Well, I was doing something else, but I'll cover that in a different video. Probably the most important measurement to get right here is the string has got to come off the axle when the arm is fully at rest. In other words, when it's sprung all the way back. Because if the string doesn't come off the axle, it starts winding up back the other way and that will stop the car. It needs to come off cleanly so the car can freewheel. So I've got to tie that on there and get the measurement just right so it's just a bit too short. Right, there we are. And that's just that little bit short. Lift it up a little bit so we can get it started. Might be worth just checking that it is going to come off cleanly. Yeah, so now it's freewheeling. We'll go and try it out. Those wheels are looking a little bit sorry. That's because they've been bashing into the walls. Because they've been using this car for other things. grab the camera so we can follow it. Bit of a slow start. Is it going to go? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, it is. Oh well, we've got plenty left, haven't we? So that was about seven meters and we should be able to go quite a bit further I suppose if I just grab that and turn it round and let it go again is it going to go again? No, it's lost its momentum going to hit the wall because I've got it pointing right a little bit. Like that. So we did the length of the kitchen and the conservatory twice. So that's actually eight, that's about 16 meters we just did. And that's without letting it freewheel. 
I'll just do a quick summary at this point because you may have noticed it struggled to get going. That's because it's a very thin axle and a long lever arm. The longer the arm is, the longer it moves, which is good if you want a long distance, but it's bad because it actually reduces the power here. If you just connected the string right here, you'd get a lot more power out of it, but you only get a short distance of movement. So most people put these levers on them to give more movement, but that reduces the power at this end. And if you're using a small axle, you need quite a lot of power to turn it. Now in some of my old mousetrap powered cars, and some of my rubber band powered cars, I did some experiments padding the axle, thickening it up, wrapping stuff around it to make it thicker. And that changes the gearing effect, or the amount of um, power required to turn them. It would have the same effect, you, you either make that wider, or thicker, or you make your wheel smaller, and it changes the gearing. So this works, but it's a bit slow to get going. And we did 16 metres, so I'm quite happy with that. A bit of bonus footage here to demonstrate what I was talking about, about thickening up the axle. I've just wrapped some cardboard around there and glued it in place. So that axle is now nearly three times the diameter it was originally. It's still only about a quarter of an inch, but that's much thicker than just the bare barbecue skewer. So now, when we wind this up, start it in the normal way over the little peg, but then as we wind it up, we bring it over so it's going over that piece of cardboard. Right, so it's all winding up around that thicker axle. So I've changed the gearing. Right. Use the release. Okay, are we ready? Let's see if we can get it to go through the door in the kitchen. So straight away we're accelerating faster. Oh, we're gonna hit the door. Well, that did all right, didn't it? It would have kept going if we hadn't run into things. But I'm a bit stuck for space when we want to do a long run like this. So that just did eight, 10, about 11 meters. It would have done 12 meters if it hit the front door. So that's the difference of just increasing the thickness of the axle, just that tiny bit. Didn't need to do much, but that improved its acceleration. So it works. I'm happy with that. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.